Well, it's time to add a game where you play as a slug to the list. This is a slug's dream. This is a recently released demo about a game where you play as a slug. So, I guess we're gonna get... We're eating flowers, that's the goal of the game, I guess. Okay, delicious. And we go back and forth through the portals. Okay, we have lava. All right, delicious. And we can knock those with our behind, of course. All right, next. Flower. Can we push this down? <laughs> yeah, that seems like a that seems like a normal way to move rocks, uh huh? Okay. River. The water is too cold. Very saddening. What happens if we destroy a flower? Oh, we crushed the flower. We can't have that. So let's eat them first. Can kind of climb these a little bit. Okay. Well, no, we don't want to touch the water still. Yeah, no, never, ever, ever. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, sure, that, that, that seems like a very reasonable thing. I've also heard this game is apparently, it has some glitches, as this version is just a demo uh, so far. Maybe check this around the behind, actually. Honestly, I'm, I kind of hope to check out some of those glitches. <laughs> Even though you shouldn't, you kind of shouldn't, but it would be funny too, okay. Here, we still have a problem, so we really need to have pushed that in a better way earlier. So here... That, now we... Oh, we can't even flip. What is going on with this backside flipping mechanic? <laughs> uh, huh. Like, can't you just go in here? Now there's like a spot underneath the water, isn't it? That is such a weird mechanic. Yeah, just like hit it with your butt and it turns around. Why not? Okay, here we have a gap across here, as well as some things that need to be um, collected. So I'd probably like set them like that. And then how would I like gain height from there? I guess like here? Interesting, that's a way to gain height here. I'm not sure I can make this happen in a good way though. No, instead I think I should in, um, turn it to the side like that, and there we go. There we go. Eat those freaking flowers. Now, I mean, I still need to get over the gap, so I'm not so sure about sacrificing this to the church of block stuckness. You know, flipping it this way- whoa, okay. That seems just way better though, right? As long as you can push it normally. Okay, that's better because we can get the block back afterwards. So we do this on the other side as well. So knock this down. Oh. Again, we can ascend walls like that. Or we could have ascended if there was a block path, but it's basically the same as... And like, what I mean is that there's this far superior path. If we flip here, and then here, there we go. Alright, now we can bring this back. Well, we need to do this path of like, going here, and then back up. There we go. I'm playing Block Zoras right now. <laughs> that is the game that I'm thinking about. Okay. And then, okay, this should be very easy now, because we can just get this over here. And there we go. Delicious. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, arch. Okay, well, that's obviously an arch. And the flower is on its side this time. So, obviously, we would like to climb on it. Like, is that good enough? Go here, up here. There we go. <laughs> Next level, reach two. We got singular blocks this time. Well, that should be way easier to control. No, they're not singular. I was just optical illusion like an idiot. Well, clearly horizontal is our problem here. So we should, pri so we should try to switch these into horizontal. Oops. Sausages. <laughs> I think I call them sausages. Uh, I'm going to take like a perpetual water machine. I Putting a bridge here is not really enough. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. And very delicious. <laughs> okay, next one, portals. Huh? Oh my gosh, who put who put portals in my puzzle game? These designers can't stop using portal. So we can move the portal up there a little bit. Oh, there's a flower there? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Hmm. What is the thing on the top? That clearly is like another portal we need to get into, but... I kind of don't recognize what the entrance should look like yet. Like, can you get in there and then move? Oh, very nice. Okay, and now... There we go. Delicious flowers. 
Alright, Chasm 1. There is a portal here. We'd like to almost push back on it or bring this through. Right, but bring it through as a horizontal. Okay, looks good. And how do we get in there just like that? There we go. Don't need too many complicated flipping of the portals themselves. Oh, I oh my gosh, just realized that means that these things in the hub, they're not they're just level select things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're actually also portals. Good joke. So we can put this inside and then move the portal around. <laughs> okay. Maybe we can get to the other island with that, I hope. Can we push these portals around a little bit more, or are we a little bit screwed? Okay. Well, I can move this like down, right? Doesn't this get me a little bit closer to the bridge, or just like directly to it? There we go. Maybe that had different ways to approach that, but the, that's the one I did. Can I push this? No, I can't. Okay. Was <laughs> cheese acknowledged? I don't know. Like, what was the idea there? I know turning it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, the water? Oh my gosh, they turn into waterfalls. Okay. Yeah, that was a good behavior to show. It's funny. Okay. Chasm 1. Did I just go through that? I thought I did it. Or is it just to get every flower because lol? Okay, there we go. Well, let's head to here. Fire 1 and 2. Alright, we got the fire back. Well, we'd like to stand on top of this if possible. Or just pivot it. I guess that's pivoting is like the mechanic that we're calling it now. Hmm. One thing about these graphics is I can never remember which side is the portal side and which isn't. The two colors are just about as distinct to me. Like, wait, that's in the water, right? No, they didn't bring the water out, though. What is this? This isn't even... There's no portal from either of the frames from it. Like, I don't see any portal mechanic in any of those directions. Oh, here we go. Haha! <laughs> you just need to do it from the side. I mean, problem is, water is just as hazardous. But, if we could manage to find a way to stop the water. Or, like, if you did this, then the water is just there. Oh, I crushed the flower. Shoot. Okay, there's no problem watering the plants, so there we go. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Fire 2. Okay, now we have the same kind of situation of, whoops, of being able to create a waterfall in here. Of course, they didn't fully sink it into the water, which would have gotten rid of both of them. Um, I don't know if I put a rock in. Like, do I put this in here, by the way? Yeah! <laughs> okay, nice. And there we go. Delicious flowers. Well... Enclosed and cornered are the next levels. Right, well, we probably want to get this here. Fire still burns me, though. That is not the right angle for that. Uh, hmm. The work on the other side? Let's try this. Nope. It's also possible to move this to the side. Is that cheese? Well... I would still need to find a way to use it before I say it's any good. Apparently can't push from here. I feel like I'm missing some interaction. I mean, obviously I know that the, like you're supposed to have a portal probably right next to the flower. And the way the lava works, I don't think this is a good idea. Like, you can climb on top and try to get in. It's just not a good idea. You broke a flower with your tail? <laughs> okay. Not not the message I was expecting, but any went away wouldn't have not warmed have worked. Oh wait, I think I see it. If I block the bottom of that, then I whoops, then I can start pushing it, right? That's not really the direction I was anticipating trying to push it, to be honest. Oh, come on. Like, hmm. This level I'm taking a while on. Hey, if you have this. Oh, but, wow, this is the first time I noticed the freaking yellow particles point to the other end of the portal, but there we go. Oh, crap, we can't actually go back the other way. <laughs> okay, no, but I got it then. At least that was a huge part of how you are supposed to do it, I think. I think I was just overcomplicating it. Yeah, just go go up here. Just switch yourself, and there you go. Ow, no, no, go back. There we go. Okay, sorry for overcomplicating that one. <laughs> uh, cornered. This one, 
the end of the portal is there. I can knock that into the water, which is... Well, that causes some annoyance, doesn't it? Hmm. And we can do it on the other side as well, with probably symmetrical effects. So, we have a bunch of flip spots as well. Like, that one is a thing. That isn't a great flip spot, although it does put the bottom of it... Like, I guess if the bottom of it is in the water... The water's on like one deep or something, and then it's just ground. So when you do that, the end of this because oh, you can still go in the water. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I was hoping that would be more or less flat, but I guess well, it doesn't matter because I got the bridge set up. There we go. So yeah, there we go. Hole. That's pretty high up. We have a we have a portal here which you can drop onto something. Unfortunately, that's kind of in the way. The water comes through. No way to get this really off, huh? Huh. Dang, dang, that's pretty inconvenient. So close yet so far. Can't happen to just, like, push this inside. Nope. The, the technology is currently not there. But, well. No, we can't get the portals to eat up another portal, I guess. Just as a general thing. So, if you knock the frame to the back by using the tail push, we can, in fact, move these to the side. Like, we could do the classic cursed tail move of doing that, I guess. Beautiful. <laughs> Doesn't it engulf you if you do this? Uh, I assume also that because the level's name is, like, Hole, it's referring a little bit to the fact that I can't move up in here, yeah? Yep. Because... Instead of moving up and, like, climbing onto the wall, I, I move into the hole instead. So clearly you need to climb up. Let's do it in a competent way now. <laughs> Not by exiting the level, obviously. So we use the trick of doing this, I think. Um, and we're going to want a bunch of vertical space. And I think part of this is going to involve using the red block as well. So we need to flip it at the right time, like here. Then I hope to flip this blue into place using, come on, no, <laughs> this trick, there we go. Now, I know this isn't perfect. It's not exactly the height that I wanted it. I mean, you can try to get to the height I wanted, which is kind of nice, but can we get there if the red is pushed? Uh, that is not, not really where I want to be, unfortunately. Hey, you actually can put a portal in a portal. It's the situation ever came up that well in this level, and that's why I didn't do it. Okay, that must be really relevant or part of the solution. But I will have to turn this again, though. Uh, it seems like I would want it to turn to the right. Okay, this thing was really good. So I put it out. God damn it. Well, it gets us to the top, so it's just as good anyway. Uh, wait. Is it, is it actually supposed to be like that? Nope. As in, go in here. There we go. Okay. I got there. Okay. High one and high two. Nice. Okay, that, that one is three high, and we probably want the higher exit. So, unfortunately, there's lava everywhere on there. I don't know if I can get this out of, the, out of this hole. That lava is a huge problem. So, I almost want to go around if possible, like using the three height to help, of course. Or it's portal and portal again. That would be a little weird, though. Mm. That also rotates it, huh? Effectively. No, you can't put in, <laughs> put a portal and portal no matter how much I'm trying to do that. So, like, one of my ideas would be putting it like that. Because we can kind of access it there. I also noticed that there is a part of this that's inside. Like, like that part of the wall is gone. Maybe I can use that. Does it make sense to turn one of these upwards, by the way? Um, well, currently failing to do that, but... If you could turn it up. So one of my ideas is to try to make it flip upwards so that the portal frame is facing up, but I don't know how to do that. Like, I can't even do it when it's blocked, I think. So that might be the wrong idea. Did someone do ridiculous portal frame within a frame stuff again? I don't know. Nah. Wait, did that actually work? When I rotated that, it turned upwards, didn't it? 
Ha 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 ha! There we go. Well, now it's just a matter of turning this, I think. No, not from there. How do I get it in position? Like, I want to do this. Push it back down. So it'll be like here. I don't think I need to push that upwards to do that. I'm just going to do this. Nope. There we go. Okay. And now that's facing upwards. But now I didn't screw up the red positioning. So I should be able to push the red into green. First, make it face down. See with some leeway here. Then flip it here. Okay. And then change it here and flip it this way. You know, it's funny that I could put it in red. No, <laughs> not really. Hmm. I mean, first of all, it's facing itself, which is um, weird. There's definitely possibilities to frame and frame stuff, though. I know that for sure from a different playthrough called Frame. Is uh, which is that game that has the crazy portal and portal mechanics. Dang, you can't even do that here, even though it should be possible. Oh, well, that's enough of a distraction. Let's just get it through. <laughs> it's not facing the right way there, I think. Hold on. Okay, so I should be able to use that now. Oh, it, it went completely through. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Okay, that's awesome. Love the portal mechanics. High to. Okay, looks like the flower's all the way up. Even har harder. Even it's hard to see because of that. Yep. So the way that is right now, it kind of feels like stairs that you're making to get over there. We we are really lacking on tools, in my opinion, on this level. Hmm. And again, I can flip stuff, so we can do that. So we can get into the water, even knock it around or something like that. That's already kind of a stairway, but not a really a good one. And you're saying the reason it doesn't work is because you're like, you're like a rigid object on top of these. That's why you're not falling through the portal. I assume if I do this, then it will fall through. Or not. Or not. I mean, maybe it's because, like, there are two frames that are working against each other there, but that is still a strange interaction. But, like, that doesn't need to be in the water, right? Like, for example... Whoa! <laughs> no, no, no. Um, for example, we could have this. Get this to the side temporarily. But instead, I'm going to put the blue in the water as our first step. That way, red has a little bit more to stand on. Okay, we do this and try to fill up the entirety of the bridge. Oh, we wanted to flip that. Okay. Yeah? Hmm. I didn't want it to be that high, right? Like, this setup is already pretty close. And all I need is an extra block. Now, like, it's obviously suspect because we're not using any of the properties of the frames. But I don't know. I'm also trying this. Which is kind of interesting because the three, like this is kind of hovering over the water. And this is another thing that's kind of close. You know, there's this idea as well that's kind of appealing where you flip the portal here. Then you can get stuff on the top side. Maybe you can get on top of that. The problem is, of course, getting up there is you could make another bridge. Something like this kind of makes it, but not completely because you can't get up. Nice flip. Okay, I have another idea. I'm just going to use the blue frame. All the action is on red, so we can use blue as our other frame teleporter thing. Um, okay, and blue... Ah, oh, shoot. I thought... Mm, in my idea, blue needs to face up. So, it's a little bit weird. Nope. I guess we need to use these types of tricks. Hmm. And then again. Okay, now it's facing up. It should allow for... Upwards travel. Now here, I'm going to switch it back to normal. And this goes on top of here. Hopefully it'll fall through. Uh, but then we can put that in there. I'm just going to push this further and use this so I can push the red on top. Hopefully it all works out. <laughs> Here, here, 
and watches that doesn't... Oh, great. Yeah, okay, so now it's all the way up high, which is awesome, but it's not facing the right way. Uh, <laughs> so, here, here. Okay, and now... No, it's a little too high. Wait, what? In the middle, please. Except not. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Um, my tail's just gonna get stuck. Oh, my gosh. No, instead of going into here... We, you use the one that's not blocked, which is over here. There we go. Okay. That's sad. Well, you bash so well for the power of stones or putting stones and are putting stones into portals. Pivoting stones into portals is a spaghetti mechanic. I don't recommend it. Okay, desert one. The cactus hurts your tummy. Uh huh. Okay, so how? What do you have to do this without touching it somehow? I mean, do you put it in the water? Ow. Is the, is the cactus even movable? Okay, but it's okay to have the cactus in your face, apparently. Good to know. Oh, yeah, okay. So, now there's a floating flower, I guess. We can try the curse pivoting more. Is there even a way to get that block staying on the top level or not really? P pivot, please. Nope. Hmm... Push that in and do this, but that's not that useful, is it? Remember, the cactus does not hurt your face for some reason. Like that, that blue flower seems impossible to get. Huh? Oh, but to get, you can get second level things by pivoting, right? So that's what we're gonna call it. Not from there. Oh, probably like that. And then put it there. That's the way to get stuff on second level. And it's always been the way to get stuff on second level. Um, if only there was a way to get this block, like, just upwards one. I mean, you can get the... Why did... Wait. Okay, first of all, let's let's just use the... The horizontal the way it's intended. But this turns into a vertical, and then we use it as stairs. Why did it take me minutes to use just the standard vertical as what it's supposed to be okay and out oh there we go thanks for trying the demo why is that frame like it looks like there's stuff in the overworld like why is that an enterable level that implies there's a way to get in there what am i supposed to do look for blocks by turning to see if this will give me a whole new perspective hmm there's actually there's there's actually a hole down there <laughs> Okay, we don't even know what level name this is. Okay, these are two parts. Oh my gosh, there's a secret bonus. Like, what? what is this level? Are we gonna abuse the this behavior a lot? Okay, this level looks impossible unless we can, like, use water tactics, maybe? Like, the problem is you can't get water very high up, I think. So you do that. That, yeah, that's the problem. Maybe, like, here. You can try to flip this. That now it flips onto the top level, which isn't good, but I don't have anything to do with here. Maybe we flip it to normal to try to reorient things. And we don't want it to turn into death, though. Hmm. No, we don't want it to turn that way, I think. But still, am we just going to slowly, ineffectually try to get rid of the lava, fire, etc.? It is nice we can do this. But, uh, we can't get this out anymore, I think. Wow, we're kind of floating. But that's not a great idea. If I flip this here... Oh, that's nice. Well, except for the fact you can't do anything, but that's close, isn't it? Hey, if you do this... Yes! There we go! There's our path. Oh. Delicious. Well done. What is this level name? What is it? Okay, after looking around, it does not seem like there's, like, anything hidden, but yeah, that was a slug's dream. Definitely so odd, like, it's a block source type pivoting game, plus you're kind of a two-length snake, plus there's portals. Very odd mechanics. I'd say the biggest weakness might be that it's, like, seems like levels are really open-ended. The cheese level solving is funny, but yeah, this is definitely a game that fits into the sausage-like genre of games. Anyway, hi. I mean, bye.